G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. Between us, we'll make you wealthy. Hi guys, how you doing? Hello. Thanks for your time. I'm, I'm Kevin. Hi Amanda. I'm Hayley. Hi Hayley. Nice to meet All right. you. We've got seven to nine fighting. This is good. <laughs> you punch up or anything? How you going, Kevin? Good. Good. Hey. Good to meet you. Good. Just stand just here for me in yep. between the two cameras. Uh, Property investors on the Gold Coast are leading a new revolt against Labor's proposed changes to negative gearing. They warn restricting the tax break to new homes will hurt renters and buyers, forcing house prices to soar. Are they telling us negative gearing, these proposed changes, what impact will it have? Um, a disastrous impact as it did last time and there's just not enough thought going into the market and the basic law of economics is that everything is affected by the law of supply and demand and as we had in there, if there's a cyclone goes through, less bananas in the store, everyone knows what's going to happen tomorrow, whether it's tomatoes or bananas, uh, the price is going to go up. So there's going to be too many people wanting new properties but there's not enough new properties to supply them. It's already an undersupplied market now. The official figures hide it because the official figures are bloated by a 65% increase in high rise in inner CBDs compared to 2009. But people don't want high rise inner CBDs. They want to live in low rise units or townhouses. The supply of those is down 15 to 20% compared to 2009. And that'd be okay if the population dropped compared to 2009, but it's not. The population has risen 8% since then. So there's already a shortage in the market of what people want. We're going to push more buyers in competing for that shortage in the market. So with too few bananas, more and more people wanting bananas, the price is going to go up. Labor wants to see first home buyers be able to compete on a level playing field with property speculators. It's an extraordinary restriction on economic freedom and the scope of it goes far beyond the housing market. So this is ill thought out solution to shortage of, of uh, properties for new home buyers is just going to get harder and harder and harder. Um, I can understand why politicians want to do it because 40% of the cost of a new dwelling goes in government greed, local taxes, state taxes or federal taxes. So it suits the politicians because that's why they abolished negative gearing last time. Money, money, money. But you know, it's not going to affect the uh, supply of properties for another two years. 10 to 1, they'll just push more in the suburban high rise, which people don't want anyway. It's going to be a huge dislocation in the marketplace. There are other ways to reduce the cost for new home buyers, uh, for first home buyers, is for example, 40% of the cost of a new dwelling is those taxes. So if you said to first home buyers, we'll halve all those taxes for you, and you can't sell your property for 10 years, that's going to make $100,000 difference to get into a property and that's going to aid the supply of properties that these people want. Pushing them into older homes, by the way, is a really big uh, cash trap for the first home buyer and why 2.5% of them go bankrupt. Because it's an older home, they haven't counted on the fact they've got to spend $20,000 rewiring it, the carpet's gone, they've got to do new carpet, where does that come from? Uh, all these hidden expenses hit them, plus they're paying principal and interest. So the repayments are 40% higher than if they bought an investment property. So I think a lot of these people are choosing not to buy uh, uh, their first home, are wisely choosing to buy an investment property and buying interest only, not principal and interest. Well, that was quite exciting. We had uh, Channel 9 and Channel 7 in the uh, conference room at the same time. And the thing that they want to know was what's going to happen with negative gearing. It's on everyone's lips. So it was great that hopefully we can get the facts and figures out to people um, because mostly they don't have the real figures out there for people. They can't get their education from the TV or the paper. This is all sensationalism. But the fact is the market's undersupplied now. Put more buyers into that market and you're only going to push up prices. Straightforward. So let's hope a little bit of that gets on the screen somewhere. <laughs>